Hi there everybody, this is Shane Armand Rowe and today I'm going to show you a quick and dirty tutorial on how to do lower thirds inside of Corel Video Studio Ultimate 2020. This is very similar to version 2019, which is similar to several previous versions. Just the menuing system might look a little bit different. So lower thirds are the graphics that appear at the bottom of a video to show you who's talking or introduce the game you're reviewing. They're very, very popular, and for some reason, uh, Paint Shop Pro, or I'm sorry, Video Studio, uh, is not super great about it. I mean, it's just, they make it very, very difficult to use these things, where other turnkey tools like Filmora and some other ones actually make it very, very easy to do lower thirds. But let's, uh, let's get started here real quick. So the first thing you want to do is drag yourself a video onto the timeline. Uh, in this video, I just have a, a quick uh, intro screen from a video game that plays some music. It's, it's kind of a good piece for demonstrating how the lower thirds work and some timing issues. The next thing you want to do is create yourself a transparent image, right? So you've got all sorts of background colors you can pick from, but what you really need is a transparent image that's the same size as your project. So we're going to use Paint Shop Pro. I'm going to create a new, pic, a new image. I'm going to use... Um, presentation and I'm going to make a basically a 1080p transparent image okay so it really is just nothing more than a transparent placeholder I'm going to save this off save it to my desktop as transparent image.png obviously I've done this before all right and then you are going to import that into Transparent PNG. You'll use this again, trust me. Now, it looks black, but it's really transparent, right? So this is what we're going to actually put the lower thirds over, right? So I'm going to grab this guy and put it right down here, right about where I think I'm going to want my lower third. I'm going to make, I'm going to right click on that because right now it's an overlay size. I want that to fit to screen. So now it fits the same as my project. Now, I'm going to preview my project because I, there's a certain timing I'm looking for, right? So let's play. Oops, that's the clip. Now let's do this. All right, so the lower third usually starts within a few seconds of the video starting. All right, let me turn that volume down a little bit. All right, so right about here is when that sort of that music hits, the melody of that song hits. That's when I want my, that's when I want my lower third to disappear. I want that to be gone just before the music hits, right? Or that, that the melody hits. Perfect, right? So that's where I want it to go. And then where would I want it to start, right? So I, I don't want it to start right away. I always like my lower third to start just a little bit after the video starts, right? right there it starts, right? And then it displays what are we looking at. And then just before the music hits, we close it out. Da, 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 da. All right, perfect. So this is where we want our lower third to be. Now let's actually make our lower third. Click FX, and you're looking for something called um, Title Studio. It may say Boris FX. It depends on which version you're looking at, but it always has that same icon. Grab that guy and drag it over your transparent PNG. Perfect. Now we're going to double-click that, which is going to bring up our editor or our tabbed properties. And you can see it's uh, the BCC Title Studio, or Boris Effects, depending on your version. We're going to go ahead and hit Customize. That's going to put us into the Boris FX, uh interface. Now, if you look at the side here, they have a whole ton of different things. And because this is all about lower thirds, we're just going to double-click on lower thirds. Now, if you scroll down, there's a whole bunch of lower thirds for you to choose from. I'm going to pick one that works really well because I want to alter it because it's not exactly what I want and it titles well. So slide blue box is what I want, right? So I'm gonna select that. Now, for some reason, sometimes this ending uh, workspace caret here is, is over here somewhere, and I don't know why. So just double check and make sure that you, um, you open that guy up. All right, so we're gonna hit play, and that's what the lower third looks like in our preview window. Now, it's already set for the correct duration because we made the overlay the right duration, right? Now, this runs a little longer than the actual duration. This runs a little slower. All right, that, that's, what, that's what we want. However, obviously, Boris effects from Boris effects and that logo probably aren't what we're looking for, right? 
So we're going to go down to our uh, advanced UI down here, click on that guy, and it's going to bring up a little more advanced UI. So here you can see, let's just break this down real quick. I won't go into great details because I wanted this to be a very quick tutorial. But up here you see your preview window, which by the way may or may, may be too uh, scaled up, so you can't actually see the effect. I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. So here's your timeline. This shows all the elements of the lower third. If you expand these carrots, it'll show you the text. Well, you can't see it because we're in the timeline where you can't see it. So let's drag our timeline over where you can see it. There you go. So there's a rectangle, right? Uh, if you expand all of these, you can see more and more stuff. There's a texture applied. Here's that box, the logo that we were looking at, the Boris Vex logo. And then here's some text with some textures on them. Title Studio, right? So, if you click on the text, you'll see it up here, by the way. That's your text entry area. All right, so the first thing we want to do is get rid of this logo, right? We don't really need that, and I happen to know that it happens to be right here. And you can just, you don't have to delete it. You can just hide it from the timeline. Perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. Next, we're going to edit that text. So, you can double-click the text. Well, that's not the text itself, but there's the text itself. And just start typing. You can see it automatically highlighted up here, so I'm ready to type. All right, perfect. And then I'm going to double click this from Boris Effects from the video game man cave. All right, that's, a, that's like a perfect lower third for what we're talking about, right? So let's go ahead and roll, we can roll this back by clicking go to first frame and hit play. Wow, that does exactly what we want. All right, well, let's go take a look at this. Sorry, I'm a little snotty here today. All right, so now uh, we should be able to see this in its entirety. Let's see what it looks like. Exactly. That's exactly what we wanted. Perfect, right? So that's lower, that's lower thirds, like obviously the quick and dirty version. There's a million things you're probably going to want to change. You may change how fast it comes in. You may want to change, you may want it just to dissolve instead of sliding out. There's a million different things you could do with this. Um, and uh, in this case, uh, we're, we're not going to go any further here, but I did want you to um, uh, be able to see how to do lower thirds pretty quick, pretty easy, and everything's just kind of hidden away. So I hope you enjoyed this. Please uh, subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell so that you get notified of other great videos I put out. Uh, and again, this is Shane R. Monroe. Thank you for watching.